Hi friends, welcome to this lecture number 16 that is Framework Utilities in Selenium WebDriver. In this video, I will explain you how you can kill the process, generate the random numbers, extract the information from the strings, then how to perform the date utilities and also manage properties and environment variable. So let us start with the first concept that is killing the processes. To kill the process, what you have to do is use this process class which is in the system dot diagnostic uh, namespace then use this method get process by name and then you have to pu put the process name say firefox or internet explorer chrome etc whatever process name is uh, there you can just put it over there and then that process will be killed so no matter how many occurrences are there uh, for that process all the occurrences will be killed using this kill method then to generate the random numbers you can use this get random digits and get random strings these are the custom methods that i have created so i'll just explain in brief like how to generate the random digits and random alphabetic strings so over there this is the method uh, that generates the random digits of specified length what we are doing here is that using this uh, random class to generate the pick up the random number from 0 to 9 and then appending into uh, to this particular digits uh, variable of the string builder type so depending upon how much length you want uh, you can use this uh, for loop and that particular string will be created of the digits only because uh, this random dot next will pick up the digits from this particular set of numbers from 0 to 9 only and then it will return the complete number at the end then similarly if you want to create the alphabetic uh, string or the specific characters string for example if you want to allow the star or any other character you can put it over there and the random uh, string will be created out of those characters and you can also specify the length as well so over there this character set is given and uh, random dot next zero comma character set dot length so what's happening here is that it is picking up the random uh, character from that particular character set and then just uh, trying to append it into this particular array and finally that array is being converted into the string so that is how you can generate the random string as well then extracting the information from the strings to extract the information from the strings for example this is a typical text that is displayed in the web application this is just an example and as you can see it is showing paid amount is this much and transaction ID is this much so to pick up those numbers from that particular text what you have to do is use the regular expression like this like x is equal to new regular expression and then over there you have to uh, put the regular expression in this format it should match uh, this particular pattern and <coughs> remember that uh, this particular group is defined by putting the parenthesis in there and then you have to put amount and the transaction id as well and for the amount you have to use the slash d plus it means that this amount uh, is actually made up of the numbers digits so that's why that slash d it will match uh, every number then similarly for the transaction id also we have got the same pattern that is slash d plus that means any number of digits so amount will be uh, stored in that amount group and then transaction id will be stored in the transaction id group and uh, finally what we have done is this pattern dot match text and then matches the groups uh, values are uh, written like that like amount value will be written like this then transaction id value will be written like this and then paid amount is this one transaction id is this one then uh, to get the current date time you can use this date time dot now then to uh, like generate the date object from the string you can use this particular syntax if the date is in this format date time dot parse if it is in the different format you can use this parse exact method and then pass which format your date is like this date is in this ddmmyy format so i have given this pattern and then finally you have to also give the culture info as well so it will convert that string into the date object once uh, we get the date object you can add or subtract the days months years etc for example to 
uh, get the next day or the future day you can use this particular syntax d dot add here time span dot from days and then you can you have to convert this date into the string like this then to get the past date you can use this particular syntax d dot add here instead of plus I have uh, given here minus one that means it will get, get the past date so that's how you can get the uh, dates in future as well as past and uh, next is before we jump to the variables and properties let me ex execute this particular code So you can see the it uh, digit random number is this one. It uh, characters random string is this one. Then paid amount transaction ID. This is extracted from the uh, text. And finally, it is also printed the dates as well. Then let us move on to the variables and property. So here uh, we have specified this settings one dot default browser. So what we have done is uh, created one settings file like this one. To create that file, what you have to do is just right click on the project and then click on add new item and in the general you have to select the settings file this one then settings file will be created like this settings one dot settings and then you have to you can add the variables over there like this I have added browser variable of the string type and its value is given over here similarly you can add more variables and to access those variables from the code what you have to do is you have to use this particular syntax settings one dot default browser it will return the value of the browser and to set the value you can use this particular syntax and then you can save it as well to access the environment variables you can use this particular syntax environment dot get environment variable and here you can give the environment variables name so that is how you can work with the properties and the environment variables in c -sharp .net. so if you run this particular code it will uh, print the browser name variable and uh, path system variable as well. The value of those variables will be printed. As you can see browser name is chrome and path value is printed as well. So that is how you can work with those properties and environment variables. That ends our lecture number 16 that is framework utilities in Selenium web driver. All these utilities, uh, utilities are really important when designing the framework for the automation project.